The start of the Champions of the Future Euro Series comes to the Catadromo Lucas Guerrero in Chiva, near the beautiful city of Valencia in Spain. Famed for its tourism, culture and natural beauty, this Mediterranean resort has played host to major events such as MotoGP, the 500 Tennis Open, the America's Cup and even Formula One. This weekend, the longest international OK series in Europe begins on one of the fastest circuits. At 1.4 kilometers, the circuit combines high speeds on two long straights with complex radiuses and high braking points and a mixture of chicanes, hairpins and fast sweepers, which will stress both engines and tires during each day of competition. There are 87 drivers in the junior class and 80 in senior, with competitors traveling from all four corners of the globe to compete on the world stage. And all six continents are represented here in Spain. Due to the engine limiters in the OK classes, we are unlikely to see high top speeds, but these are the most powerful homologated engines in karting, and the acceleration is what counts. Junior engines give out approximately 30 brake horsepower, with a minimum for kart and driver of 140 kilos in weight, whereas the senior class has approximately 40 brake horsepower and are 10 kilos heavier. OK Junior will use Vega Option tires, and OK will use MG Prime, and our new sustainable fuel will be provided by P1 across both classes. The racing is more intense than ever before, and the battle for glory in the pinnacle of European karting begins here. Last year, Britain's Nathan Tai stormed to the title for the Sodi Kart factory team. But as he departs for the OK class, it's open season for the juniors, and a new champion will emerge. All eyes will be on the likes of Alexander Bondarev and Tame Soleil from Kart Republic, whilst Joel Pokola for Sodi Kart and Zach Drummond for Paralin will also be keen to impress. Scott Lindblom and Alpak Soy will lead the Tony Kart charge, and Birolart will be hoping Sandro Perez and Gerizim Skudinov will have another strong year. But the squads from Ricky Flynn, Forza and Koski will all be hoping to take on the factory efforts too, in a thrilling opener to the season. Kaczynski is slowing and coming to a stop. Oh, I don't Elliot believe Kaczynski it! Elliot Kaczynski out of the final. I don't believe it! Elliot Kaczynski is stopping on the formation lap. The Swede, who was due to start on the third row, is out before the race has even got underway. That is devastating for Elliot Kaczynski. Are we going to go racing this time? No. Yes, we, we are, do. Oh, we do go racing. We Apologies. are green. Yes, we are green. So up to the first corner. And it's a great start from the number 55. Ramakas holds on in front of Antonov. A couple of drivers take it to the grass. But Antonov stalks through. Antonov takes the lead from Ramakas. The oh, other shoots. Coming together. Ramakas coming through. There's a big incident of the chicane behind them. But Ramakas steals back the lead. Just in the nick of time from Antonov. As five to six cars are all embroiled in this one. Absolute disaster. Yeah, it was all in the mid-pack. It started with Noah Wolf, and then it's uh, Tame Soleil, Christian Castoya. Uh, Slater, Kamiab, Martinez oh. as well. All of them involved. And there's an investigation into the start for Nicholas Schalfer, Schalfer I'm afraid. Yeah. That is a big scalp as Noah Montero makes his bid on Davide Bataro. Well, but Nicholas Schaufler has split them and now he's going up the inside of Salah. Great run from Nicholas Schaufler. The Austrian going so well at this point, but he holds up Salah. This is going to be the chance for DTF to get back up the inside and go with Schaufler. Salah round the outside, trying to hold it. Beautifully done from Salah. Hangs on from DTF. Yeah, that was incredible cart control to hang that round the outside. I thought he was going to understeer completely off the circuit, but like you say, that's where the fresher tyres come into play. They can do things like that now in the stage of this race. So really well handled. We're about half race distances down the inside. Brilliant move there from Selim Hara on Jack Eilif. Gets through and moves up in towards P9. And Montero picks up a couple there as well. He's picked up Lindblom and also Bondarev. So Montero, Montero working his way forward, the Portuguese driver. Oh, and that's an off at the final bend. That is the 48. That is Aksoy. Yeah, Alpaxoy, who was running so, so well in this race, now sees himself broken, stopped at the side of the circuit. What a disaster. Now, Ramakas moving away from Antonov. The gap up to seven tenths now. Werrell, seven tenths further back. This is the year for Timo Ramakas if he can keep this kind of pace forward through the season. But he's definitely starting to make impacts now. Antonov needs to stay with him, stay with him, but the gap is opening up. Tiboramakas is ramping up the pace. 
Thibaut Ramakers has led all but about eight laps of this weekend. It's been absolutely phenomenal. The Belgian is going to come through for VDK Racing, for Belgium, and for everyone watching. He has dominated. Thibaut Ramakers wins in Valencia in the Champions of the Future Euro Series opener of the OKJ final. Monstrous pace, dominant form. Catch me if you can, fellas. Absolutely exemplary. And finally, Tibor Ramakas gets to celebrate in style for once. For third position for the United Kingdom, Lewis Wirral. And to our driver in second position for Italy, Stepan Antonov. To our winning driver for Belgium, Thibaut Ramakas. <laughs> Thibaut, en français, what an amazing race from you from start to finish. Controlled the pace once you got back into the lead. Just describe the race for us. Oui, c'est une très belle course. Uh, j'ai j'ai eu un peu de mal au départ, mais après c'est parti. J'ai fait le gap et j'ai gagné, donc c'est super. So, moving on now to the next round of the championship, how are you feeling? Ben, je me sens bien pour le prochain week-end. J'espère faire aussi bien que ce week-end-ci et je pense que je peux le faire, donc on verra. Fantastic, merci beaucoup. Ladies and gentlemen, Thibaut Ramakas! With several talents stepping up to the OK category this year, it becomes a series of tough challenges ahead. So the established talents of Joe Turney, Kia Nakamura Berta, Luigi Coluccio and Thomas Stolchamanis will have their work cut out to stay at the helm. Regular front runners Alex Powell, Ian Eichmanns, Nicolo Kuman and Gabriel Gomez are back for more and will be joined by the likes of Nathan Tai, Maciek Gladish, Anatoly Kivalkin and junior world champion Enzo Tarnvanichko. Once again, it'll be tough to tell who will emerge as our new champion. We're racing in Valencia, up to the starting point. A great run into the first turn from Bashrovsky, who goes with Powell and Nakamura and Berta. Nakamura and Berta trying to go wheel to wheel with his teammate, and they have let Bashrovsky go away. Brilliant from Powell to defend, as round the outside of Poulain, Nakamura and Berta hops over the curves. Poulain gets through, as everybody else sorts themselves through the chicane, but up to Poulain with a terrific start, into third position for the Tony Kart Factory Ace. Nakamura Bert is going backwards. He's lost ground to Walter. Now he's lost ground to Joe Turney. This is not the way that Kia Nakamura Bert wanted this final to start. Well, he's picking in the middle. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. Oh, my goodness. Great run from Powell. Caught Jan Bostrovsky completely unawares. But he needs to make haste while the sun is shining now because he's now got two Tony Kart factory drivers right on his tail. Bostrovsky has been caught by Poulain, and now they're going to work together. It's Nakamura and Berta! Oh, Nakamura no. and Berta and Walter! Nakamura and Berta and Walter have collided out of the final turn! And they've gone into the barriers on the main straight! Oh, bitter disappointment for David Walter. Look, Such promise in this one. Yeah, looks strong. But gap still four tenths per second between first and second in this one. This is going to be an interesting final. There's still a long way to go. The longest race of the weekend, 22 laps. Still a long way to go. Here's a replay. This is what happened then. Oh, Walter's gone off oh. over the chicane and into the side of Nakamura Berta. So Walter overshot the chicane, came back on the circuit, banged wheels with Nakamura Berta, and the pair of them are out. Now, Nakamura Berta is going to be quite adamant there. You rejoined right in my path. I had nowhere to go. We will not be a part of that because we don't know any better. Nathan Down the inside, time. yeah, Nathan Ty, nice little move there. Oh. Tried it on the inside, gets it on the exit. Just made that one through. He had to force Tunion to run wide to get it to happen, but Nathan Ty in the Sony car now comes up to P8 behind René Lammers. This is going to be fascinating. Joe Turney has not had any challenge he when goes. he's gone for the battle in this weekend. Here he goes. Up the inside of Jan Fasrovski, and Joe Turney gets into third. Now we've got a final on our hands. Joe Turney's cracked the top three, and he will stop at nothing to close up on Poulain and then go for Alex Powell as well. But here he comes again, and there is an investigation into Joe Turney. There's an investigation into the 201. What is Joe Turney under investigation for? 
good opportunity here. Here it is. Pulls out of the slipstream, goes in towards second place and does just get it. Squeezes past up the lane. It can quickly run out before you know it. And I won't lie, there's a black and white flag being brandished. Who is it going to? It's not come up. Joe Turney. Turney. It's Turney. Five second penalty. Oh, no. Five second penalty going the way of Joe Turney with a warning flag. He has no idea until he comes through this time. That means he's got to catch and pass Alex Powell and disappear to the tune of over five seconds if he's going to win this final. Alex Powell will be in such a relief position. But there's certainly a warning flag that's gone the way of Joe Turney. He's all over the back of Alex Powell, coming out of the final turn, down the straight. Here he goes. He's going to launch forward. He takes the lead. Alex Powell sits in behind him. So now it's up to Joe Turney to pull away by five seconds. Eight laps to go. Get it done, boy. That is going to be a tall order. If he can do that, that will be one heck of a drive. Here it, Here it is. Now, look. Turney, yeah, look, he's dived in on the inside of Volta, giving Volta absolutely no room. Volta bounces across into Nakamura Berta. They exit stage left. That's how Turney has got the penalty. We're going to run out of time. It's going to be Powell who takes the victory. The Jamaican has worked hard. Joe Turney's going to cross the line in first, but the warning flag five-second penalty will drop him back. He waves, but he knows that he's got the penalty. Alex Powell is going to take the checkered flag in front of Poulain. Tarvanichkul and Bashrovsky. What a brilliant end to the day then. Turney, he may not even know he's got the five second penalty. I don't think he knows no, he's got it. I don't think he saw it. I don't think he saw it. Well, Alex Powell gives a thumbs up to Joe Turney. The winner on paper is Joe Turney, but obviously because he got a warning flag, five seconds will be added to his time. So Alex Powell is gonna take the win here ahead of Poulain and Tarvanichkul. Firstly to our driver in third position for France, Arthur Poulain! And to our driver in second position for Jamaica, Alex Powell! For the United Kingdom, your race winner, Joe Turney! Joe, a tough race, a tough weekend. Friday, it all went wrong for you in the evening, but you've been fighting back ever since. Just talk us through how you guys cope with the pressure through the weekend. Yeah, not an easy weekend. Uh, first time racing here in OK, and uh, first OK race in Champions of the Future with the new team. So uh, we had a bit of a difficult quality, but we knew we had the speed. Just an unfortunate DNF set us back a bit, but we knew we had the speed and stayed calm. Uh, had some things go our way as well, a bit lucky with uh, other things and in the end we were fast enough to win the race. So moving on from here obviously the next round of Champions of the Future Euro Series takes us further afield to another new circuit. How's the composure in the team and how's the atmosphere now after this fantastic first result? Yeah I think happy uh, it should fill us with a lot of confidence going forward that we can do it on the first weekend so uh, a lot of new new tracks this year and uh, new scenery so I'm sure we'll do a lot of testing and enough preparation to repeat these results. Great job, Joe. Fantastic win. Well done. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Turney! Well, the weekend here is finally over here for the Champions of the Future round one at Valencia. Myself, Anthony Jordan, Jake Santon on my right, Vera Vitteren on my left. Guys, it's been a brilliant weekend. So, I mean, what can we take away from it? It's definitely going to be an interesting title fight in the Champions of the Future in both categories now. Thibaut Ramak is coming through for a fabulous victory, despite the pressure from Stepan Antonov and Lewis Werrell, but it looks like that fight isn't quite done yet. In senior, it's obviously been incredibly close. Joe Turney just about hanging on for the win in very tough circumstances. Circumstances. Very tough circumstances indeed. Drama at the end of the Senior OK category. Vera, your first time joining us here this weekend. Uh, how have you found it first and foremost? Uh, I really enjoyed working with you guys at the first, <laughs> first thing I say. And uh, the weekend was interesting. Like For me, the seniors are so interesting at the moment because you know we have so many so fast guys this year who are, yeah, you never know what happens next time. Yeah, Timo Arabica is, of course, a perfect Saturday. Struggled in the Sat uh, on the Sunday morning but Sunday afternoon, a brilliant weekend. I mean, for a driver to come away with a full weekend like that, it's got to boost the confidence going into the next round. Yeah, I really hope he has, because he's a small guy, and um, for me, he's super fast, and I just hope, you know, as we go now, come here in two weeks, we see what happens, and then we go next time to check and uh, how the track, track is going to be. I'm interested to see how he does when it's a bit more hot and a bit more creepy. 
Yes, indeed. Yeah, Czech Republic is the next one on the calendar at uh, the early weekends of May. Uh, a new track for a lot of these drivers, I think, that one. It certainly is, and that's what I think I like about the Champions of the Future this year. Other than Franchi Corta, every circuit is going to be new for the OK drivers and the OK junior drivers out there alike. So everybody's going to have a real mission on their hands to compete at the front level. It's going to mean that testing and tyre management is going to be very prominent. Everyone's going to have to pull out their A game, and it means we're going to be in for an absolute treat. We spoke about it all the way through the live stream again uh, for that senior race as well, but the ending was probably one of interesting measures. You, of course, you've got a driver who's crossing the line celebrating, thinking he's won, but he had a penalty on his board. It then gets revoked. And then you've got Enzo Tarvaneshko, who had a fantastic drive, thought he was battling for a podium and then at the end gets pipped off. You've got to feel for Enzo, haven't you? Yeah, you do, but it's going to be really indicative of how close it is in the OK Drivers' Championship in general, because Joe Turney had immense pace in the he final. Did. I mean, where on earth he pulled it from is phenomenal. But the fact that, you know, this is the kind of battle that these guys are racing for. The reason he got the warning flag, very minimal, very marginal, but that's how tight it is. But obviously, because two other drivers came off worse, it had to be investigated. It's going to be a very tough season. Joe Turney clearly has a point to prove at Cart Republic. Alex Powell has one to prove at Prima, and all of the others are trying to match them. It's going to be a phenomenal season. It really is. I'm very much looking forward to that one. And of course, final few words from you, Vera. Again, with it being your first time joining us in the, in the paddock, working with the RGMC guys and working alongside us on the broadcast, you know, speaking to some of the drivers in a new aspect, do you feel like they would speak a little bit different versus talking to them in a, in a pit lane and a team manager sort of position? Yeah, of course, and uh, you can see a lot of different, uh, some of them are so uh, ready for what they say and so on, like, I think good in uh, putting the words and how they analyze things and uh, I don't know, so I'm a bit more shy, but I hope that when they get to know me, we can have small, um, like more good chats with them. Yeah, exactly that. It'll be exciting. And the rest of the championship is coming up later on as well. Stay tuned for it. You can catch it all live on the YouTube, Facebook, motorsport.tv as well. Myself, Anthony Jordan, Jake Sanson, Vera Vitteren. It's been a brilliant weekend here at Valencia, but we head to the Czech Republic to Steel Ring for the next round.